Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is a live series that we're going through on Java, and this is lesson one. And when we're done with this series, we'll start the lesson two. When there's questions from the student, you will not be able to hear them, but I'll actually will be typing those in the screen. And so go ahead and read those, and that will be the context of what I'm answering. So thanks for listening, and let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've, I'm going to go ahead and create my scanner, and I just created a class called Adding Input. And once again, you see that public static void main string, always the same, right? And so I'm going to declare a variable called scanner. And, that, and, and so what does this mean? If you roll over this like we did in before, it, uh, it actually gives you a description in Eclipse what it is. So you can actually read through this now, right, and find out what this does. But basically, it's just waiting for information to come in, okay? From where? System in. See, we're using out before because we're outputting from the console. In means what? we're inputting from the console. Okay? Now, so what I'm going to do here is I declared that my data, so that's where all the inputs are going to go. And now I'm going to declare a double. Now what is double again? Do you remember what kind of type that is? Huh? You're at, uh, no, it's uh, decimals. Okay, so double means decimals. And what I'm going to do here, I don't have to declare, declare three doubles in a row. I can declare one and just put a comma declare the next one and put a comma and declare the third one I'm done so I put what a semicolon and so I actually was able to use a shorthand notation to declare three of these at once okay otherwise I'd have to put one on another line right and use the word double right there see that I don't want to do that I want a little shortcut method and then I could keep going right but I don't want to do that so it was my little shortcut method now I want to print out to the screen what Enter your first number. And then I'm going, okay, first number equals my data. Why? My data. Because that's going to be the system and it's going to wait for me to type something in, right? Dot next double. Now, if it was an integer, I'd do dot next line. But since it's a double, I'm going to do dot next double. And so it waits for the input. I'll input that and hit the return and it'll print out to the next screen. Enter your second number. Then I'll go second number equals my data dot next double. And what it's going to do is wait for me to input, right? And when I hit the return, it's going to run the next line of code, first number plus second number, and I'll print out the answer of what that equals. Okay. Now since it's doubles, I can actually enter in uh, decimals. Now if it wasn't doubles, say I entered in integers, what would it do? It would truncate everything into an integer. So let's go ahead and run this code. I'll save it and I'll run it. And right here in the console, what does it say? Enter your first number. So I'm going to hit enter uh, 55. And then it's just waiting. It stops the program. I hit the return key. Boom. Enter your second number. Let's hit uh, 6.888. And I hit enter. And it should give me the answer. Ta-da! 61.888. And that is one way to bring data into the, through the console. You got it? Using Java. And so that's in Bucky's video. So he's going to go over it again. Make sure you watch it, but it's important, and I just want to make sure you get that in this lesson. Okay, I believe, have we done the character demo yet? No. Let's talk about the character. It is one of the types that we're discussing. So what I'm kind of doing is covering the types. And so this is a character. It's just a single character Y. Okay, so once again, I've created a class. Here's my class statement. I gave it a name, character demo, and it's saved as character demo.java. Then I use this public static void main. Same thing every time, right? Then I'm going to declare a strict type and declare a variable called small character, and that's going to be in quotes a Y. All right? Then I'm going to do something called a big character. I'm declaring another character. And I'm going to use what we saw in PHP, these little methods right here to uppercase or to lowercase. I don't know if you remember those. And uh, there's all types of me string character methods that Java has to available to it automatically. You don't need to import those since they're used so many times. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this character, small character, use this name character, which is going to, in a sense, call the class, dot to uppercase and put small character in there. So it takes this, should take this little line, Y and turn it into what? Right. So let's run the code. That's what it does. Ta-da! There's my big Y right there. I'm a genius. Got it. <laughs> All right. Good. Here's the gravity calculator. Since this is your assignment and I want you to flunk, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it very much. <laughs> okay, so uh, 
uh, but basically, what he does in this, this came from MIT, is he's kind of giving you the base code, okay? He's already declaring all the variables for you, and then all you have to do is type out the equation and have it print to the screen. So I'm going to want you to think about that, and if you can't get it next time, we'll just do it. It'll take about five minutes, all right? Hello world, we already did that. Some math. So let's go ahead. We already did simple, I think, simple uh, communication. That's good. Or simple strings. Uh, once again, uh, this is the use of the scanner. This is the one, the lesson I should have showed you first. Okay? But I didn't. I actually, uh, did right, what this program does right here, it pretty much just scans in um, whatever you type on the screen. And it's using uh, next line, okay, because I'm, bringing, I'm, excuse me, I'm typing in a string. I think I said integer last time. I shouldn't have said that. It's using next line because I'm typing in a string. Let's just test this real quick to show you what I mean. Basically, if I tap in the string, um, I, 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 and I hit return, it prints out I, 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 I. So in this code, I import the scanner. I create the class. I declare my name, which is going to be a scanner, which is the data Mike, all right? And I say system in, and then I'm going to go print Mike dot next line, and it knows that next line is going to be a string because I use next line for strings. I said integer earlier, I was wrong. Next line for strings. Next double would be for what? Doubles, right? Okay, so good. That means just another example for you to look at, a simple example. Once again, Bucky will cover this better than I did. Okay, one more thing, some math. So we're going to go through this math example. We'll be done with this lesson. Go ahead and ask your question. Good. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to uh, import the system out. Okay. And what, what, would I, what do I mean by that? Previously, I was using the system word in the sense to call in the class. And then I was doing dot out, dot print line. But I can just get rid of one line of code, or not one line of code, or a few characters here just by calling that class in. Okay. So there's two ways. I could call it in or I could do system dot. And all I'm doing is going import static java.language.system.out and calling that in. That allows me to leave off the system name. Isn't that cute? But it does all the same thing, and you should, just see, you should just see it, okay? So once again, I do the same thing. I create my class. I call it some math. I create public static void main. Same old thing, right? And I'm going to declare several integers. Uh, number of men, number of women, number of female visitors, number of people, all right? And just like you did math in PHP, you're going to do math in Java. So I'm going to say, oh, number of people equal number of men plus number of women. Print that out. Or remember the plus equals? What will the plus equals sign do to the number of men? Plus equals four. What does that do to the number of men variable? I sure did. See this highlighted code right here? I have the number of men, which is a variable. When I go plus equals four, what does that do to that number? It increases it by four. That's a shorthand notation. You remember that? Uh, let me type in what you could do the same thing with. So numMin equals numMin plus 4 is the same as, equal, same as numMin plus equals 4. You remember that? Okay. You're a bad person. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'll put that to the screen. Uh, plus plus. What is, you remember what that does? Increments by 1. Remember? That's the same as if I was... So if you take the number of men and you add one, that equals number of men. Or if you just use a plus plus, it's the same thing. So you print that out. The ne now there's something here that's really important in Java, and that's pre-incrementing and that's post-incrementing. Okay. If you put the plus plus in front of the num men, it actually will do that operation first and then print. If you put the plus plus after the number of men, it'll actually uh, print and then do the operation. Is it? And Bucky discusses this as well, so make sure you go through this in his videos, all right? So I'm just running through the code right now, and what I actually want you to do is I actually want you to just go through the videos and go through the code, all right? Because this is all very easy. Uh, you don't have to just add numbers. You can also add variables. In this case, I'm going to take number of women and go equal number of number women, women visitors. So I'm, in a sense, I'm doing a plus equals on a variable as opposed to just a number. Because once you stick a number in a variable, and you start using that variable, it's just like that number's there, right? I'm going to print that out, and then we're going to use all that stuff we used before. Uh, star equals 2 which means to multiply women times 2. Div divide equals 2 means divide women, women by 2. Minus equals is m subtract women, 2 from women. Number of women minus minus is decrement women by 1. All this stuff. Now, if you go minus minus before women, that is a what? 
pre-decrement. It does it first and then it prints it out. If you do it afterwards, then it prints out women and then it decrements it. So that's called a pre and post decrement. All right, important in Java.